Hello and welcome to a new Excel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn some useful short keys used in Excel that will increase the working speed of any person. So without any delay let's get started. If you want a copy of an existing sheet without any change in cell sizes or font size, just press the control key and left click from the mouse on sheet name, located at the left bottom of the screen, and drag the mouse arrow to right. Here it goes. You will get the exact copy of existing sheet without any minor change. As you can see there is no change in three of the sheets. This not only reduces the time, but also save us from copy and paste steps. If you are working on more than one sheets, and you want to go to next sheet, just press the control and page down key. For next sheet again press the page down key of your keyboard. And if you want to go back to the previous sheet again press control key and page up. Another useful short key most frequently used in Excel is filters. If you want to enable the filter for a table, just select the top cells of the columns from your table and press Ctrl, Shift and L. From here you can filter your table data. You can also enable filters for an entire row by selecting the row from extreme left column showing row numbers. To give serial numbering to your data, select the first cell, right one. Then press Ctrl, and click left mouse key and drag down the bottom right corner of the cell, as much as you want serial numbers. Another method for serial numbering, is to write 1 and 2 in first two cells. Select both of the cells. Again drag the bottom right corner up to the cell you want serial numbers. If you want to know the number of rows and columns of your Excel sheet, click on the top left node of your sheet and hold the mouse key. Here you can see the total number of rows and columns. First number is the total number of rows that is 1,048,576. And second number is the total number of columns that is 16,384. If you want to go the bottom of your sheet, press Ctrl and down arrow key of your keyboard. Here you can see the last row of your sheet. Then press up arrow key to return back to top. Now press Ctrl, right arrow key and you can see the last column name that is XFD. Now press left arrow key for extreme top left. If you want to change the size of all the cells, and want to keep them equal, select the entire sheet by clicking on top right node. Now adjust the size of any column, it will change the size of all columns simultaneously with equal size. You can do the same for row by changing the row size. Next short key is to hide the entire row or column. To hide an entire row, select that row and press Ctrl and 9. And to hide the entire column, press Ctrl then 0. If you want to hide more than one row or column, just select all of them and press the same keys. Now if you want to unhide the hidden rows and columns. And if hidden rows and columns are too many, just select the entire area of your table by selecting the serial number of rows and press Ctrl, Shift and then 9. Repeat the same for columns just press 0 instead of 9. If you want to open the insert function window for formula search. Located here. Short key to open this insert formula window, is to press Shift then F3. For current date in any cell, press Ctrl plus semicolon key. And for current time, press Ctrl plus Shift and colon key. If you want to add currency sign, just press Ctrl plus Shift and then press dollar sign key. Next shortcut key is for addition, or deletion of new cells, row or new column. For addition of new cell just select the place where you want to insert the new cell and press Ctrl with Shift and plus sign key. Then select the option according to your need. Like you want to shift the data of current cell, up or down. And then press Enter. For addition of a row, select the entire row and press the same keys. In the same way if you want to delete a cell or row. Select that, and press Ctrl, and key with negative sign. In order to add entire column, just like addition or deletion of a row, select the entire column, and press the same keys. 
If you want to convert any given value, in percentage form. Select those values, and press Ctrl, Shift with percentage sign key. It will convert the value to percentage form. If you want to add a certain type of sign with given value in a cell, then use the concatenate function. Write equal sign, and select concatenate function from here. Now if you want any sign before your value, then write that sign in first input placeholder. And in second input placeholder select that cell. You can do this with all the cells below, just drag that same formula for whole column. You can use this function to join the values of two cells. For that, write equal sign and select concatenate function. In first input placeholder select first cell. Now if you want a space between these two values, then in second input placeholder use inverted commas or quotation marks, and give space between them. Select second cell in third input placeholder. This is very useful function as you can see, first name and last name has been combined in the same cell. Or you can join the parts of the email, that is name and website address. Just write, at the rate of sign, in middle input placeholder. If you have a formula in a cell, and you want that formula for whole column. For that just drag the bottom right edge of first cell, and that formula will be copied for whole parallel columns. But if you want to exact copy of above formula for bottom cell, then press the control and inverted comma key. That will copy the exact formula. If you have more than one Excel sheets, to jump from one sheet to next, press Ctrl Shift plus 3. And if you want to go back to previous sheet, press Ctrl Shift plus 9. If you want to select a specific area of table, press Shift and then according to your need, press left, right or any other arrow key to select the area. And if you want to select entire table, just go any edge of the table. Then press Ctrl, Shift and arrow keys. Like here. Press left and then above arrow keys. That will select the whole table. If you are anywhere on a sheet and you want to go back to the first cell of the sheet that is A1. For that just press Ctrl and Home keys. It will bring you to the first cell of your sheet. Next short key is to create a new Excel sheet. For that just press Ctrl and N key. It will create, a separate new sheet. But if you want to create a new sheet within your working Excel file. For that press Alt, Shift and F1 key. That will create a second sheet in currently existing file. If you want to compare your digital data if you want to convert that into graphical form, means in chart. For that select the columns. And press F11. That will convert your data in graphical bars. If you want to go to a specific location, or cell of your table or sheet without scrolling, for that press F5, then enter cell name and press enter. You will jump to that specific cell. But if you want to search the data in your table, for that press Shift F5, or Control and F, a search box will appear. Enter any search string and press enter. In this way you can find any data in your sheet. If you have formula in your table, and you want to see all of them, for that just press Ctrl plus tilde key. Tilde key button is located just below the escape button of your keyboard. This will show all the hidden formula. Now if you want to hide them again. Just press same shortcut keys. That is Ctrl with tilde key. This will again hide all of them. Thank you for watching this video. We hope that you found it informative. If you like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more great content. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update.